This bird nest takes years to build. Welcome back, Charlie here. Birds have no hands, but despite this, they still build amazingly intricate nests. Here are the most massive, complicated, and expensive nests in the animal world. First, we have to look at the weaver bird nest. During mating season, the weaver bird has to build this amazing nest. They do this to attract a female mate, and it's no wonder why female weaver birds are so impressed. These nests are super complicated to build, and it also takes absolutely ages. They begin building in August and end in February. That's a total of six months of building. The nest begins with the weaver bird making a ball out of grass. He does this by tying blades of grass in knots. He then creates a circular nest, weaving grass, twigs, and leaves into it, doing all of this with his beak and feet. After months of work, he'll end up with a ball-shaped nest, which is hopefully good enough for him to find a weaver bird girlfriend. Weaver birds have very sharp beaks, which is what allows him to cut the materials needed to make the nest. The weaver bird's feet are also very skilled at tying knots, making weaver birds one of the most intelligent animals in the world. Their nests are 100% waterproof. That's better than some houses. They're also built well enough to survive powerful storms. Next, we have to look at the edible nest swiftlet nest. As the name suggests, this nest can be eaten, not only by birds, but by us humans too. These are commonly found on the Andaman Islands near India. These tiny 12 centimeters to birds weigh only 18 grams. They live in limestone caves. They choose to build their nests inside these caves, mainly because they're prey to so many animals. That's because of their tiny size. Inside these caves, they build edible nests. The nests are made from the birds' solidified saliva. Now, that may sound pretty nasty, but they're a luxury delicacy in Indonesia, Malaysia, China, and Hong Kong. Edible nest swiftlet nests are also the most expensive nests in the world. They're priced at $4,000 per kilogram, making them a very expensive food to eat. Sadly, humans have destroyed many of these nests to eat, leading to this bird becoming endangered. It turns out the edible nest Swiftlet's biggest predator is humans. Next, let's look at the sociable weaver. Sociable weavers are the only birds who maintain their nests all year round. Their nests can be small, fitting only only 10 birds, or be gigantic and fit over 500. They build these nests at very tall heights. Some of their nests are so big they look like haystacks in trees. But here's what's really cool about their nests. The sociable weaver does all of the work, and then other birds get to enjoy the nests too. They are community nests, meaning many types of birds can live in them together. Sometimes wasps also live in these nests. These nests also last for a very long time. Sometimes many generations of one bird family will live in one sociable weaver nest. Next, let's look at the tailor bird nest. They get their name because they sew their nests like a tailor. They use leaves and grass to sew their nests. They also use plant fibers and spider webs. The nests are sometimes built inside leaves, making them very hard to spot. They're normally found in Southeast Asia and are also found in Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Pakistan and Nepal. Next, let's look at the oven bird. This bird gets its name from its nests. The oven bird's nest looks like an old cooking pot. It's thick, round, and very strong. It's made mainly from clay and takes six weeks to build. They sometimes build these nests in urban areas and today actually prefer using man-made materials. Next, we have to look at the ruby-throated hummingbird nest. The ruby-throated hummingbird nest is built entirely by the female. The male doesn't do any work and basically just chills out. The male ruby-throated hummingbird doesn't even raise the chicks once they're born, basically a bird version of a deadbeat dad. But the female ruby-throated hummingbird spends seven hours a day for seven days building this nest, and she has to do so while pregnant. The nest is mainly made from moss and lichen. Cotton fibers and spider webs are also used, as well as bark, leaves, feathers, 
feathers and fur. Basically anything the ruby-throated hummingbird can get her hands on. Once it's done, the nest looks amazing. It's designed to protect her eggs, making sure they never tip over no matter how strong the winds are. It's safe to say the female ruby-throated hummingbird is a genius bird. Next, let's look at the hammercop nest. Hammercops are normally found in Mali. Their nests are amazing and are built by both the male and female hammercop. They communicate during the building to make sure the nest fits their requirements. Their nests are so big a human could live inside them. A pair of hammercops may build up to five of these nests per year. They live in them for short periods of time, and sometimes return to and renovate old nests, basically building a bird real estate empire. The nests have an entrance hole to get in and out. Hammercops are very mysterious birds with hammer-shaped heads, but they're considered very bad luck. Seeing one of these is associated with lightning, illness, and even death. So you might not want to go too near to a hammercop nest. Next, let's look at the bald eagle nest. Bald eagles are massive and impressive birds, so it's no surprise that their nests are too. In fact, the biggest nest in the world was built by a bald eagle. It was found in Florida, USA. It measured 2.9 meters wide and 6 meters deep. It also weighed over two tons. Researchers said it's amazing the tree didn't collapse under the massive weight of the nest. The male and female bald eagle build the nest together, gathering materials and arranging them together. Bald eagles sometimes use the same nest for many years, gradually adding more and more to the nest, making it even bigger. Bald eagles also include moss as an insect repellent, proving that bald eagles are not only powerful but very intelligent too. Finally, let's look at the European Bee Eater Nest. These tiny colorful birds build their nests inside sandbanks, normally near rivers and shores. They create a very long tunnel and lay their eggs inside. They also live in this long tunnel. They mainly eat insects, especially bees. They're mainly found in southern Europe and northern Africa. Usually they build their nests in big packs, creating hundreds of these small holes in sandbanks. Although they're called European bee eaters, these birds can be found in many places, including South and Central Europe, Northern and Southern Africa, and Western Asia. These birds are monogamous, meaning they only have one partner, building and maintaining the nest as a team. They have incredibly sharp beaks and claws. This really helps them when it comes to eating bees, as well as digging holes in sandbanks. European bee eaters normally live for six years, and in this time make many nests. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which nest was the most amazing. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.